Hey there dreamers, welcome back to my channel. I've been working on a puzzle game recently, if you're not aware. I've been streaming the development of it on Twitch occasionally, and so far it's coming along pretty great. This is not the puzzle game, however, I thought it would be a good idea to share how I did the movement in my game, at least the, the very basics of it. This is like a grid-based movement, and it stays within the bounds of any map we create. We can change the shape, it doesn't matter. And this works on any object too. It can work on a block, it can work on a puppet, or it can work on pretty much anything that can move with like a mover or a follower or anything like that. So if you're interested in learning how to make this, stick around. So I'll be going over it. It's really quick, really simple, and if you enjoy it, let me know in the comments below. With that, let's get into it. Okay, so everything in this is super simple. It's all inside of this one chip here. That's it. That's all. Everything is there. Um, by the way, if you're interested, this music that was playing in the beginning, Tranquility, um, it was made by a really cool music dreamer named Bera Getsaker. I highly recommend going and checking out some of their music that they've made. Okay, so... Everything is in this chip, all right? And the way everything is set up is it's all hooked up to the D-pad, which this is just a remote controllable sensor here, okay? So all of these go into here, and this is basically the same thing four times, and then this is our movement here. So I'm using two variables, X and Z, and every time we press one of the D-pad buttons, it goes into one of these ports here. So there are four trigger zones which are just looking at the neighboring space to see if there is a tile in that location. So these are just regular sculpts here that I've labeled scenery and these trigger zones just look for the label. You know it doesn't need the name in there. So it just looks for the label of scenery. That's it. So if we press de right on the D-pad, for example, if there is a tile to the right of the object that we're moving, then it turns on the signal manipulator, which is set to a pulse, and that goes into this variable modifier, which increases X by one. And the same is true with all these other things, except if we press up on the D-pad, it'll subtract one from Z, if we press down on the D-pad, it'll add one to Z. If we press left on the D-pad, it'll subtract one from X, and all while making sure that there's a tile that it can move to. From there, I just have a follower, which is placed at the very bottom of this cube. And the reason I did that is just so I don't have to supply a Y value, but you know I could if I needed to. And the X goes into the X port, the Z goes into the Z port of this combiner, which then goes into this target position of the follower. So the follower just goes to whatever the values are. Right, so if I press up on the D-pad, we can see Z is now negative one, and the thing moved to negative one. If I then press down, this goes back to zero. The only other thing I have here is just a keyframe, which highlights it red and makes it glow a little bit. Um, and that happens whenever either of these are increased or decreased, and that was just for a little effect. So, we can see that, uh, you know, this is super simple. This took me like two minutes to put together. Okay, control display. Get that in there. Okay, so now, you can see when I press right on the D-pad, once I'm here, I can't move there. I can move down, I can move up, I can move left, but I can't go right. And that's it. Super simple. One chip. Um, really quite lightweight, in my opinion. You only need one of these, really. And um, there's not, not, that, not that much going on here. So, super simple to set up. Really don't ever have any issues with it, obviously, because everything should just work the way it does. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you found it useful, please let me know. Leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you really feel like it. 
And um, if you're new around here and you want to see more tutorials, go ahead and click subscribe if you'd like to. If you have any uh, requests for any tutorials you'd like to see, please leave a comment uh, letting me know so I know that, um, you know, so I know what people want to want to learn here. So anyways, I've been rambling here, so <laughs> I'm going to get going. I hope you're having a great uh, day, night, morning, wherever you are, staying safe. I'll see you next time.